I don't know why people don't really get crazy over Drum Street. First the eight is great. The Transient Shaper is a fantastic tool because you you can use it both ways. And then you can use it to push things away. If you use invert, it will the blend will remove the transient from the signal. Check this out. The more you add, the more ambience you have and less presence in the front. That's why transients are so important. <laughs> The enhancers are just parallel chains with a very heavy compression. They work like shelving type of curves, very heavy compression, harmonics and stuff. It's like setting, it's like duplicating a track, setting a parallel uh, type of thing with an EQ. If you really want to get into finding the frequency of your kick and then uh, dialing, don't waste your time. Move it onto the point it sounds good. Why? Because it's not always the the root what you need to boost or it's more like another harmonic. That's why the old school engineers always tell you 200 on the snare, even though the snare is probably 180 or even 100. Try to find where it sounds good and boost that. And that's what I'm doing here. This, I don't know if it's a limiter. Pretty sure it's BCA, but doesn't matter. It can stop the signal right away. You have a gain reduction meter here, but I always uh, look at this one here in, in Pro Tools because uh, I can configure to preference metering and exclude the the gate and then uh, you can use it in parallel which is what the way i recommend when you engage narrow band 